Welcome back to Off the Couch Hobbyist. It's been five days since we picked up the bees. Today we're going to show you how we release the queen into the hive. So here's the hive after we released the package a few days. It's gotten real comfortable. There's a little entrance reducer so it can protect. Uh, oh, there's the queen in the cage. She's got a white dot on her. All queens born in 2021 will get a white dot. We have taken off the cork off the end and our fingers on the end so she doesn't take off. So now I'm going to just put the cage up to the side there and watch as she enters into the hive. Okay. Hopefully she enters into the hive. Look what your queen did, Kathy. If you wait just a second, you're going to see her come on back out. Look, there's oh, there's that there white dot. Is. That's the little rascal right there. Go back. So we're going to... Ah! Kind of encourage her to go back in the hive. Exactly. So Karen, what happens if she flew away? Well, it, the bees would probably follow her. They'll smell her because it's all about pheromones and they'll probably take off and follow her. So it's really important that you get your queen to enter into the hive. Exactly. But she's a little confused. She's been in a little cage now for quite a few days. So they're all heading back in there to, to check her out. They're all rambunctious because we were messing with their queen and the hive. So this is the second hive. What you don't see now is we're taking off the cork off the end of her queen cage. We'll be showing you that cork here in any minute. So same process. We'll remove the cork and then keep yes. our finger over the edge and then just push that little cage up to the entrance of the hive. When we pulled the queen cage out of the box, we made sure she was alive. So we looked in there, made sure she was walking around and everything was good. Those are her attendants that you can see that are feeding her and watering her and cleaning her through the little uh, cage there. Okay, and so. there she is. And she goes in the hive. These bees just were introduced to her a few, you know, five or seven days ago. So it takes time for them to get used to her. That's why she's in a cage. I stuck my finger back over the hole in the cage uh, where the cork was just to make sure when I looked in there, I could see that she had actually exited that cage. So we're going to do this with the yellow hive now. Sorry for the bad filming, but see the cork on the end. That's a little cork that seals off the uh, little cage that she's in. And I found that if you use a cup hook, you can screw the screw into the cork and it gives you something to hold on to. That way when you work the cork out, you have a little bit more control over it. We learned that from lessons from previous times. Yes. <laughs> so there's the little cup hook. I'm just going to screw it into the bottom and then gently pull the cork out. And then have your finger ready to go over the hole. So the bees all work with pheromones, which is a scent that the queen puts off. So even though she's not in the cage later on, they still will follow the scent that she has put all over that cage. And you'll see them swarm that little cage. So here we go. Ah. So she was already let loose. This is the empty cage that I just set there now. And look how excited they are to just to smell her. And they are just all over it. <laughs> so hopefully now we're going to check their hives in a few days and all we're looking for is eggs. We want to make sure the queen is laying eggs. If we have to requeen, we want to do it now before um, the bees get any older. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. job. <laughs> we are professionals. So I will put one up tonight. Okay. Another 